some students want some extra work in detention. Prefect? Yes, Sha? Make a list of all those students who decided to go on holiday. I will not tolerate such behavior. Please stay here when your name is called out. Bill? Here. Benson? Here. Brenda? Here. Christopher? Here. George? Here. Mookie? Here. Yeah. Violet? Here. Yeah. Penina? Modesta? Mm -hmm. Josephina? Here. Yeah. Congestina? Janet? Jessica? Remo? Let me see that list. Hey, you said you wanted to see me. My class was almost empty today. I have a long list of absent students. Why would they all skip school at once? At first I was a bit concerned and I thought it was a usual skiving, but now I'm getting worried. And they are all girls. Yes, hmm? which is why I'm really worried. Uh, maybe it's related to this malaria outbreak. And it affects only girls. That's too much of a coincidence. Though it's worth checking out. I think you should visit the health center. Maybe they've been treated there. And that should be the answer to the question. You're right. Uh, can I help you? I'm looking for Dr. Charles. I'm sorry, he's with a patient. You can wait for him. Or I can assist you if it's medical. Well, I wanted to know if there have been any students who've been treated here recently. No, no students. Are you sure? I hear there's an increase of malaria and I have many students who've missed school, so I thought maybe they had malaria and that could explain their absence. Yes, there has been an increase in malaria cases, but I assure you if any of your students have malaria, we would know. <sighs> then where could they be? Thank you. Excuse me? Are you Mama Penina? Yes. Hi, I'm Penina's headmistress. I've been searching for her and her other school friends and I can't seem to find them. Is she ill by any chance? Yes, but she'll be back to school in a few days. Is it malaria? Because none of the girls has reported to the health center. Teacher Pendo, I don't know about the other girls. And like I said, Penina will report back to class in a few days. Is she on medication? And is it the right dose? Because there's an incident of someone who was given out-of-date medication that was actually resistant to malaria. I can take care of my child. I know what to do, and I never said she had malaria. But you said she'll recover in a few days. I said she'll be back to school in a few days. I'm sorry, I don't mean to pry. It's just that with the malaria outbreak, I made an assumption. You can talk to me. You'll think I'm a bad mother. Look, I'm not here to judge you. I really care about Penina. And I know the doctor at the health center maybe can help us. She's not sick like that. I try my hardest, teacher Pendo, but it's just too much. By the time I buy food and kerosene, I have no money left. It's OK. You can talk to me. Penina is out of school because of her period. I couldn't afford the pads, and the ones you supplied in school ran out, so... Maybe I could talk to her, and she could tell us everything. Why does it always have to be me? The nurse, Chapendo, called us. You're the one who causes a lot of trouble. Leave her alone. She hasn't done anything. Thank you for coming. None of you is in any trouble, as you might think. Let's sit down. I just wanted to talk to you about the pad situation. I understand a lot of you have to miss school because you rarely get access to them. It's OK. You can share with me. I already spoke to Penina, and she told me exactly what happens. Is it the same for you all? Yes. Why didn't you say something? A kid's child is embarrassing. Yeah, clothes don't help, and our parents can't afford pads. What are we supposed to do? Does that mean that the program I started months ago doesn't help? It does once in a while, but we are many girls, so they run out quickly. So many of us are unable to get them. It must be hard to catch up after missing days of school. The days when we have pads, we don't miss school. Anything else? We need an extra bathroom, other than the one that's already there. And sure, pads really help. You're not scared of leaks and embarrassments. In Ajua, we have to wash uniforms every night so that they are dry in the morning when we use clothes. I'm so glad you came out and shared with me openly. No girl should have to bear such a burden at such an early age. 
Now one of you make sure you pass by Penina's home and give her today's work so that she's not left behind. Thank you. Hey, Red. Hi. Congratulations on the counselorship. Now, I have an emergency that requires your urgent attention. Hello. Yeah, sorry, what's up? The program I started months ago for supplying girls with sanitary pads is just not providing enough for them, and hence many of them have to miss school per month. Plus, I also need extra bathrooms. Look, I totally understand, but at the moment, I can't commit any funds. I'm telling you, my docket is full with a list of priorities. And about the bathrooms, doesn't that fall under the school infrastructure fund? Excuse me, madam, I really need to talk to you. Does that uh, mean that there's nothing you can do to help? Look, madam, my cousin has been in remand for over a month and he hasn't had any legal help. Okay, as I explained, I have all these priorities, so I can't promise anything for now. You, I'm going to the office, let's go. It's very sad that a girl's education can be harmed by her having her normal period. Girls shouldn't miss school because of lack of sanitary pads. We need to find a solution to help keep our sisters, daughters, granddaughters in school. To help keep a girl child in school or for more information on the issue, simply text us your name and address to 3036 at no extra cost and we'll send you a free information leaflet. Tukutane, Makutano.